This video is to show you how to start a brand new hog scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration such that it starts growing and does not keep a bone white, pure white growth surface. Now the, uh, the reason for this is that the white surfaces, okay, the white surfaces inside of a hog scrubber, this is a hog 3x, uh, are white so that they reflect the most light back through the algae. So light hits the algae this way, it reflects and comes back, it hits the algae from both sides. It wouldn't do that if it were dark. It would only hit the algae one way and then would get absorbed by the dark material. However, when any scrubber of any type has a lot of white area like this and it's brand new, there's so much reflection of the light that the algae can grow because algae cannot grow when the light is too bright. It just doesn't do anything. So some people in the past have found that um, they tried running their hog scrubber and it ran for a while and they had lots of algae in their tank but this was growing absolutely nothing. So it was discovered that it's just simply too much light. Especially as we move into the higher power uh, such as the new hog 3X which the hog 3, the one before this one, was actually pretty high power with six LEDs, but this has nine LEDs. It's the strongest one yet. There's no way in most cases that this is going to be able to start up on its own. So the Surf 4 and this HOG 3X has a low power mode which was shown in the HOG 3X video that only has three LEDs. Okay, so generally you don't need to use a shade cloth for this. But let's assume you have one of the other ones, the HOG 1.3 or the HOG2, or the HOG3, or the HOG1X, or the HOG1, any of the ones that have a decent amount of light, and you've been running it, uh, or you think you're going to start it on a tank, and it's you want to make sure you have the best chances for growth. You want to use a shade cloth, because most of those scrubbers uh, don't have a low power mode. This one does, the HOG3X has two power supplies, you can see here, so it doesn't really apply to this one. But the other ones only have a single supply and they power all the lights at the same time. So use a shade cloth. And the way you do it is this. Uh, they will probably come with a shade cloth like this one. Okay. Uh, if they don't, just use a t-shirt. T-shirt is fine. You can either tape it or you can just stick it behind the magnets. Either way is fine. Taping it maybe is a little easier. But the idea is to block light, a lot of the light, from most of the growth surface. Don't cover the whole growth surface because you need to be able to see the difference between covered and uncovered, okay? So this would be a good start here. Uh, an inch or two, maybe, you know, six centimeters or what have you, uncovered and the rest covered. So after seven days, the first seven days, you're going to take a look at the growth surface, the bubble side, and you're going to see which side grow, uh, grew better, alrighty? So, If this side grew better, that means it needs more light. It likes more light coming through here. So just remove the cloth entirely, or at least move the cloth down. If this side grew better, that means it does not need a lot of light. It, it prefers to have it shaded, so you can move the shade up, or just run it longer like this until it fills in. Once it starts filling in, then you're going to remove the cloth anyway. Alrighty? So don't put the cloth all the way up when you're first starting out. Okay? Don't do this, because you're not going to be able to tell which is running better. Do it like this, so you can see, does this work better, or does this work better? Alrighty? And then, in the end, once this surface is covered with growth, almost any kind of growth, you'll probably never again need to use the shade cloth, or uh, maybe never again need to use the low power on the ones like the 3X here that has the low power mode, unless something happens and you have to clean everything out all the way down to the white surfaces um, or you just find that it starts off better with lower power so then you can use this usually though once you're past the first growth period a week two weeks at the most um, you can start out fine without the cloth and go straight to full power